She just doesn't care. Important to say. Yeah, he's a dear. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be watching the original 1951 animated Alice in Wonderland. I actually have never seen this movie, so I'm going to watch it today. That's where those characters are from. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> But all the animators are men. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> hey, it's flowers <laughs> and bumblebees. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> like monologue song about how like in her world nothing fits into the ordinary and everything can be kind of what she wants it and I'm like oh, that's me <laughs> another thing is my profile photo for Disney Plus is Alice in Wonderland am I Alice what <laughs> Has this movie subliminally affected my life and I didn't even know it? Okay then. <laughs> and she's okay with it. <laughs> she just doesn't care. Mr. Rabbit. Plus for the oh, forest animation. <laughs> this is the 50s because no way in a modern animation would they include smoking even cigars even though that's kind of considered a more kind of classy version of smoking but it's like you can clearly clearly tell of the times <laughs> no no the poor oyster babies <laughs> I agree, Alice. <laughs> they're, they're just so into their story. They're just going on. <laughs> okay, I love the colors. Her uh, mouth didn't match the audio. It's a little bit of a little bit of a goof there. Oh no! You see. Okay, so personally that doesn't make sense. Based off of the structure of the house, that front window is more at like waist or like lower stomach level. So if her head's peering out there, that doesn't match up with the rest of the proportions of her body. Because if she has as much space as that image showed her, she wouldn't be squished and stuck in the house. She wouldn't be able to get out, but she wouldn't be like about ready to make the house, you know, bust from the seams. You must eat something. Not me. You, 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 barbarian. Ah! 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 Oh, it's okay. You mean bread and butterflies? Well, yes, of course. It... <gasps> Horsefly. I mean, a, a rocking horse flask. <laughs> Naturally. Flask can't talk. But of course we can talk, my dear. If there's anyone worth talking to. Or about. <laughs> <laughs> This movie wasn't like it's not that it's boring it just wasn't quite catching my interest but then we go to this scene with singing flowers and i'm like oh my goodness just so y'all know how much i just love flowers i have an actual encyclopedia of flowers and it's illustrated kind of in the aesthetic of alice i guess or maybe these are just kind of very classic and of course the one I'd stop on is it's Mandrake. I think the encyclopedia is trying to tell me something. I'm I'm a wizard. And did 
you notice her petals? What's a peculiar <laughs> color? She's nothing but a common mobile vulgaris. Oh, no! A weed. I'm not a Oh, weed. no! Well, you wouldn't have... Explain yourself. I'm afraid I can't explain myself, sir. <laughs> because I'm not myself, you know. Ah, are you? Well, don't you think you ought to tell me... <coughs> I love the animation of the letters and how, like, when the R hit the back of her head, it dissolved into more little R's. And it's so imaginative. Like, who would have thought of stuff like that? <laughs> important to say. Yeah, he's a dear. Now, let's see. Where was I? This way, this way, that way, this way, this way, yonder, man. <laughs> giving me a headache <laughs> I'm like I, I'm so I'm I'm confused <laughs> trees and then they they kept the designs as the background oh, that's so cool look there he is now huh what who the cheshire cat and as for you your majesty your majesty indeed why you're not a queen but just a, a fat pompous bad-tempered old tough Oh, <laughs> 
that Alice is going to go and defeat the queen and like have a proper conclusion, all that type of stuff. And then, wait, it was all just a dream. Oh my gosh. I know that that's like a trope that's used so many times, but like here it actually works really well. Okay. Yay. Okay, so we just finished watching the TV. Whoa, no. <laughs> I don't, I know a lot about this movie because it's, it's one of those movies that's kind of just made its way into pop culture, but I didn't know that it was all a dream. Is that, I, I want to know if this is where the whole, it was all a dream trope came from. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting here as if like my whole world's been changed because of this movie's ending. That makes the plot make a lot more sense though because of how nonsensical it is. All right, that's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and let me know by liking it, leaving a comment, or even subscribing. Bye. <laughs> okay, I have no idea how to actually wear this dress shirt. I don't, I don't know if it's a dress. I don't know if it's a shirt. And the sleeves I think are supposed to be here, but like it doesn't look right. And every time I move, they just like slip down and I'm like, what, what, what?